church on wheels who ever heard of such a thing well icm had and they've made a kit of the british army mobile chapel find out more right here on gary stuff Hi, I'm Gary and today I'm looking at the British Army Mobile Chapel in 135th scale from ICM. If you like the video, please support the channel by giving up the imperial thumbs up on the like button below and why not subscribe for free while you're at it. Hit the bell and you'll be notified of all my future content as it is released. To make a more concrete contribution to the channel, follow links to my partner programs in the information box below. So let's have a look at what you get for your money in the British Army Mobile Chapel in one 35th scale from ICM. So here we have it. Um, one of the stranger kits I've seen, to be honest, of a vehicle. But you know what? Could be quite interesting to, to build for people. So it is a World War II British Army mobile chapel. It's made by ICM. It's in one 35th scale and the product code is 35586. It has a piece of box art depicting this. I'm guessing this is either in North Africa or Southern Italy by the looks of things. On the long side here, it says a model of a rare version of a military vehicle um, equipped for holding services in the field. Inside we have a harmonium, a field altar and equipment for worship, as we do here. And there are decals that complement the bits and pieces, of course. The kit, if it's completed, is 167 millimeters long, 94 millimeters high, and has 286 parts. That's a lot of parts for a vehicle like this. It is intended for model makers of 14 years and older, it's because a lot of the parts here are very small. On the other long side, we have a three view of the finished truck. Um, with the mobile chapel unit on the back and the reprise of the logo, the scale and the model number. On this short end, again, same thing, uh, description, the box art and all the details. And on this end, same sort of thing, but they're arranged vertically for when the boxes are stacked on a shelf like this. Makes them easier to read without having to bend your head over, which is a nice touch. Let's see what we get inside this box then for your money. As usual, the um, shiny outer slips upwards to reveal a white box. And the white box has a flap on the side and then it's a hinged top opening. And first thing, of course, we come across are all the plastic parts all in one big cellophane bag with a separate cellophane bag for some of the clear parts here and here. There is, of course, an instruction sheet. It's actually quite tight to the box because the box is pretty much A4 inside. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. So, um, yep, that's the instruction sheet. Inside is the decal sheet. And then, of course, as usual with ICM, there's a piece of information about their paint range as well. So let's have a look at the component parts in a bit more detail. OK, this is frame A, and as you can see, it's mainly concerned with the cab, uh, bits of transmission, bits of engine as well. Um, it's, it looks familiar if you've seen my build of the G7107, because it is essentially a G7107. Actually, it's a G7117 because it has a winch as well, but then with a custom back for the chapel. So it's a, essentially a G7107 or G7117 build. So these bits of the cab will look very familiar. They do go together very well. Frame B is the chassis and the rear bed of a G7107 truck. The majority of these bed parts you're not going to use because, of course, the rear of the vehicle is a custom bed, but um, certainly parts of suspension, steering wheel and the chassis rails you will be using. Frame C 
and these are things like the wheels mud flaps and so on and so forth a lot of which we'll use but again some of these side pieces we won't be using and there are two copies of these because there's two sets of wheels left and right side frame d has smaller components of the engine and transmission uh, the gear stick and things like that for the interior pedals and whatever frame f1 and these are the some of the parts of the main body of the converted truck so this is the specific parts for the mobile chapel and frame f2 more parts of the mobile chapel the uh the actual uh cab at the back you can see the cross and symbols and so on and so forth and the ladder for people to get in and out of when you have the truck stopped and open up the back then frame g is the uh, stuff that goes on the inside of the chapel so you can see a keyboard here from the harmonium uh, parts of a chair and the altar and some candles in candlesticks and so on then we have a couple of frames of transparent parts this is technically frame E, and these are the transparent parts for the cab and for the um, headlamps. But then we also have parts labeled E1, which are the windows for the chapel cab. So there are three sets of windows for the chapel cab itself, all the same, labeled E1. Looking at the plastic itself, close up, do you know what? It's nice. It's nicely molded, clean enough. Um, there's enough detail there to work with. Uh, nice, smooth bits of plastic, no obvious molding issues. Um, there's a grill here that looks very clean, no flash in there at all that I can see, which is quite encouraging. The um, side panels with the chevy logo on them all very nice the only time I've, I've seen a little bit of flashes down here in the other end of the frame where there's some flash around this part in particular not as oh, tiny hints elsewhere but that's really the only one part that's got any major flash on it i think that's probably some sort of pressure issue in the mold rather than the age of the mold particularly um everything else seems to have pressed really really well um, there's the uh, bit there. oh, there's the instrument panel Let's have a look right way around the go instrument panel looks fine everything looks really nice if we have a look at some of the um, more detailed parts this is uh, frame D this isn't again one of the older frames because it's uh, common to all of the 71 series vehicles again you can see here there's a bit of flash creeping in around this gear stick around these levers i guess that's a steering arm maybe it's a part of the steering arm no that's a steering arm link i don't know what can't remember what these are suspension arm links or something but most of it is pretty clean there are a few bits of flash but as i say these are the parts that are most heavily used from this range of vehicles and, and most of the parts are still pretty good to be fair there are some like the gear lever here they've got some flash on that needs cleaning off then looking at the plastic that's more specific to this model um, because it's newer then these you know redesigned or newly designed frames these look absolutely spot on there's nothing wrong with this molding at all. These candlesticks coming out nice. You are going to get a tiny bit of mold lines on these though. Um, but that's really, I don't think there's an awful lot I can do about that, to be fair. Um, everyone gets that because that's how you design the molding. But they're pretty clean. I have to say pretty clean. I do like this keyboard. The decal sheet here is um, 
relatively basic. There's not a lot to do, obviously, in a mobile chapel. So you've got some markings for the um, instruments here. Got the piano keys, um, some religious texts that go up. Not very Anglican, I would say, all of this, but you know, there we go. Um, these side panels here, this says Mobile Chapel, this says Motor Church. So I do wonder whether there's going to be an American version where they call this a Motor Church. I don't know. Um, crosses and a couple of little bits and pieces on here. I guess these are going to be light panels or something where you would normally actually put lights in. Um, don't know what these are don't look terribly sharp because red doesn't print terribly sharply on its own and it really sort of relies on a back print of something like yellow or white to stand out as you can see here but you know it's, it's convincing enough i don't think anyone's going to look too closely at it well no one apart from me of course so let's have a very close look at it there we go the standard half millimeter pencil lead here Instruments look okay. I mean, they're not going to look wonderful on there. They, they've gone for a proper scaling on these ones. And of course, <laughs> if you do that, you, you lose sight of them completely. So, but never mind, they look okay. Piano here, you know, keys kind of look all right. Um, I would like just a single line here rather than a double line for the separation of the white keys. I think it would look better. But never mind. The text here is okay again at the distance we're going to look at it it should be fine so have a look at the bits here yeah the text for mobile chapel they go into these wing bits here should be good and again as i say it's got motor church as well so i do wonder whether there's a an american version of this coming out where it would be a motor church i don't know we'll see what happens but the decals look no they're grand the, the blacks are sharp They'll look absolutely fine when they're on the model. And then the instruction booklet. Um, very much modern ICM, full color reprise of the box art, uh, full color callouts using ICM color codes, description of the vehicle here in English and in Ukrainian. Then uh, all of the icons are explained here, and then a link just to subscribe to the channel. There's a QR code. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're at it. Inside, we start off with the um, frame maps. As you can see on frame B, most of the rear beds you don't use because, of course, it's a customized bed um, and these are the parts that replace it and the contents as well. And then the instructions to build it. It is very much the pretty much the same as a standard uh, G71. 17 or g 7107 however first thing to notice is that you do actually have to cut a piece of the front rail off on both sides i believe um that's a good good use of my new um razor saw obviously so that's all jolly good other than that it's pretty much a standard build of a 7117 because it's got a winch as you can see here these kits do go together extremely well there's a full engine so you can have it with the engine open as well with the engine cover open maybe um your religious staff putting up a prayer because they're stuck in the middle of somewhere with the engine packed up who knows you can do all sorts of fun things with it instantly you uh, don't forget there is a figure set that is coming out um i'll have that in a few weeks time to show you as well to go along with the chapel so all of this up, up to here, uh, up to sort of 88, just over halfway through page 16. All of that's to do with the truck, the truck bed itself, which is pretty much identical to other uh, G71 series trucks. Then you have the actual parts to do with the chapel at the back, including the, a chair and harmonium and the altar and bits and pieces to do with that. Um, that's fairly straightforward looking i have to say um not crazy not absolutely straightforward it never is because these are really good quality kits you can have the front windows open or closed as well which is nice um, especially if you want to do a desert one where, where the the windows are covered in sand and blasted and whatever 
On the back is the colour scheme, the one colour scheme it comes just says British Army Mobile Chapel World War II. You see the front is white or off-white, they prefer to say, and the main body is green. And then, of course, you've got the um, harmonium and the mobile altar as well. Now, um, there are various decals around here. The sheet of music, they do actually suggest you cut out of this piece of paper, I guess, to make it look a bit, bit more like a piece of paper on, on the harmonium rather than putting a decal on there, which looks like it's painted on. This is actually will stand out separately. You can maybe sort of crinkle it a little bit to make it look a bit more like a standalone piece of paper. But otherwise, all these things are decals as well. So there we go. That's the instruction sheet. In conjunction with this kit, ICM has launched this set of colours from their range of water-based acrylics. It includes the principal colours you'll need for this build. There we go, an intriguing thing and a very different kind of subject. ICM has just released some figures to go with it as well, which I'll review when they arrive. So know when that is. Do remember to subscribe for free and hit the bell to get notifications of all my new videos as they are published and anything you like please give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below as every like counts thanks very much for watching hope to see you again soon take good care now and goodbye <laughs>